How's it going everybody? It's Warren. Welcome back to my channel, The Cosmic Wonder, where we talk about all things Marvel and everything relating to the MCU. Everybody is very excited for the X-Men to enter the MCU. Finally, yesterday I did a video on what the first possible lineup for the X-Men could be in their debut film, and the comments were all very, very good. Everybody's really excited to see some new X-Men come to the MCU and see some characters that we've seen before in previous versions with Fox. But what if I told you that Marvel Studios could not only be planning on bringing back some of the characters that Fox has already done, but could also be planning on bringing back some of the actors that played those characters. Now, I know that a lot of people have mixed feelings about this. Some people would like an entirely new cast and entirely new characters to come to the MCU, while others would very much like to see these old actors and old characters from Fox be done in the MCU because everybody believes that Marvel Studios could truly do these characters just well, based off of some things that Marvel Studios has done and based off of some things that the actors have said, it looks like they could be planning on bringing back some of the original actors to reprise their roles of the X-Men. So we'll break down all of these things in this video. If you're new, be sure to subscribe, stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU, and so you can enter this week's giveaway to win a Hulk Funko Pop from Avengers Endgame. All you have to do is subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Now, first and foremost, we already do have some proof that Marvel Studios would like to bring back some of the original actors that played the X-Men for Fox back to the MCU in some way, shape, or form. And we also have proof that Marvel Studios definitely would do this as they kind of already have. The first example of proof that we have is J.K. Simmons reprising his role as J. Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man Far From Home. No, he is not an X-Men, but the principle is basically the same. He was in an old Spider-Man movie that did not exist in the MCU, and they put him in a new Spider-Man movie that does exist in the MCU as the same exact character. So for anybody who says, no, they are not going to bring back any of the original actors to play their roles of the X-Men in the MCU, Marvel isn't thinking about that, well, they kind of already have. But J.K. Simmons' character of J. Jonah Jameson, although iconic, isn't exactly a huge role. It's not small by any means, but it's not Patrick Stewart's Professor Xavier. Now, we already know and have proof that Marvel Studios and the president of Marvel Studios, Kevin Feige, has spoken with Patrick Stewart about coming back as Professor Xavier. And this is confirmed. We have proof Patrick Stewart himself said it in an interview. While doing press for the upcoming Star Trek Picard series, he told Digital Spy this. I met with Kevin Feige a couple of months ago and we had long, long conversations and there have been moves and suggestions which include Charles Xavier. Here's the problem. If we had not made Logan then, yes, I would probably be ready to get into that wheelchair one more time and be Charles Xavier, but Logan changed all that. He would go on to say that he had made peace with departing from Professor Xavier as he said goodbye in Logan. But the main point to take away from this is that he said he had long conversations with Kevin Feige and there have been moves and suggestions which include Charles Xavier. Now this implies that Kevin Feige asked him to come back and play Professor X because he said if I had not made Logan then yes I would probably be ready to get into that wheelchair one more time. So he literally said says him getting back in that wheelchair, meaning him playing the role of Professor Xavier, not somebody else. So this wasn't Kevin Feige consulting with Patrick Stewart about a new Professor X, this was him asking him to come back to play Professor X in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now, unfortunately, Patrick Stewart declined. He's made peace with his character and departed, but he's not the only original X-Men. Recently, James Martin, the actor who played Cyclops in the original X-Men, has expressed interest in returning to reprise his role of Cyclops in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And in fact, he said that he still keeps in contact with Kevin Feige. In a recent interview with Screen Rant about Sonic the Hedgehog, the fact that Patrick Stewart had met with Kevin Feige and talked to him about reprising the role as Professor Xavier, he was asked if he would reprise his role as Cyclops and if he's spoken to Marvel. And this was his response. I would uh, would never be opposed to coming back to that. But really, I hold a special place in my heart for that experience. I mean, I look at those three movies I was in and it, was a, it became a huge part of my life. It was a family, uh, all of them. Um, so I'd be a fool to say no to that, of course. I would. Um, Feige is still a friend of mine, and and uh, we talk occasionally. But uh, it's you just don't know where it's going to go. 
So as you just saw, James Marsden said that he would be a fool to say no to that, that if he was asked to reprise his role as Cyclops, he would say yes. Now, of course, there is the possibility that he's already been asked to reprise his role, because if he has been asked, he's not going to come out and say, yeah, I'm coming back as Cyclops. It's great. He would probably get into a lot of trouble. But Cyclops is another iconic X-Men from the original films, and I'm sure fans would love to see him come back, and it sounds like he's open to it, so it just may happen. And the other day we actually got another report that another Fox X-Men could be making his way to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that is Quicksilver. The other day, Murphy'sMultiverse.com posted a report that Evan Peters, the actor who played Quicksilver in Fox's version of the X-Men, has signed on for a lead role in WandaVision. The report says, Thanks to a familiar and trusted source, the same LA-based source who told me about Peyton Reed signing on for Season 2 of The Mandalorian, I have learned that Evan Peters signed on for a key role in the Marvel Studios' Disney Plus streaming series WandaVision. The 33-year-old Peters landed the role late last year and filmed his scenes shortly after. This was actually kind of around the same time that Marvel Studios was talking to Patrick Stewart, asking him to come back as Professor X. Could Evan Peters be reprising his role as Quicksilver in the WandaVision series? If he is, it actually would make a lot of sense. Quicksilver, or Petro Maximoff, is the brother of Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. Now, of course, we've already had a Quicksilver in the Marvel Cinematic Universe played by Aaron Taylor Johnson in Marvel's Avengers Age of Ultron, but unfortunately, we know how that ended. You didn't see that coming? And it seems like in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Wanda has made her peace with her brother being gone. But what if he comes back in a different way? We know that Wanda in the series is going to create multiple realities. And in one of these other realities, perhaps it's possible that while she's creating this perfect life for herself that we've seen in the teaser so far, perhaps she brings her brother back, but it's a different version of him, an alternate version from a different reality. This could be how she kind of starts to lose it in the WandaVision series. She starts to try and bring people back, obviously Vision comes back, but while trying to bring her brother back, it doesn't go exactly as she planned. It, and we get Evan Peters' Quicksilver. Now, admittedly, this would be very, very random on Marvel's part. There would have to be a very specific reason for them to do this, because they could just as easily bring back Aaron Taylor Johnson because he still has projects left on his contract. So, of course, there is the possibility that Evan Peters is simply signed on to play a different role, and that role could be Speed, one of Wanda's twin boys who has the powers of Quicksilver. This would obviously be a grown-up version of him, but kind of makes sense. And then of course he could be playing another character, perhaps even a villain, but that's another video. But the point of this is that Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige has talked to a previous Fox X-Men actor about coming to the MCU. And if this report is accurate, he's not just talking about it, he's already filmed scenes for the series. So he's coming back in some way, shape, or form. Now a lot of people have been asking me about Deadpool, and don't worry, Ryan Reynolds of of course is still going to be playing Deadpool. Disney, Marvel, and Ryan Reynolds himself have actually been quite open about this. They've confirmed Ryan Reynolds is playing Deadpool, and they even said that Deadpool will probably remain rated R. And right now on the production grid for the next Deadpool film, there's only two people listed right now as the producer, Ryan Reynolds and of course, Kevin Feige. So relax, Ryan Reynolds is 100% returning as Deadpool. Now the question is in regards to the original X-Men, how exactly are they going to reprise their characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Well, as sad as it is, in all honesty, if Patrick Stewart would have returned as Professor X, he would have probably just led the X-Men. As they introduced the X-Men in the MCU, and they introduced Professor X, he would have been played by Patrick Stewart. But what if Cyclops and other X-Men returned? How would they do that? Well, really, there are only two ways that would make the most sense. One would simply be for the original actors to reprise their roles and they come into the Marvel Cinematic Universe and play these characters for another 10 years. Now, although I'm sure some of the actors would be thrilled to reprise their roles, they may not be up for playing the character for another 10 years. So one of the most likely options is that they will simply come into play in different universes, primarily in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse 
Multiverse of Madness, or the WandaVision series. Both are going to deal with different realities and alternate universes. Because you have to remember that Kevin Feige was involved with the Fox X-Men. That's actually where he got started. So they hold a dear place in his heart. And perhaps he plans on giving them a little bit of a node, a little bit of recognition and love in his MCU films. And the way he could plan on doing that is to simply give them little cameos in different realities or different universes in Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. It's either this or they're actually going to be coming into the MCU for a very long time. But what would you prefer? Would you like some of the original X-Men to come into the new Marvel Cinematic Universe's X-Men? Or would you simply like them just to be cameos? Let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything relating to the MCU. You can follow me on Twitter for live updates, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.